All right, hey, today what I want to do is talk to you about using Neuron Writer to re optimize old blog content. So, if you've got blog posts that just aren't really working out that well, you go into Google Search Console, you see that there's maybe very few impressions for certain pages. These are older blog posts. Due to all of the changes from Google Core updates, now you may want to uh, go to those pages that just aren't really converting well and not getting much traffic and try re-optimizing those pages. Here's what I mean. Let's say we go out to my website, mikesaidthat.com. Hey, and if you notice right down here in the bottom right-hand corner, if you go to mikesaidthat.com, please subscribe to my monthly newsletter. That would be great. But this is the website that I use for supporting this particular YouTube channel. Now, let's say this particular blog post was one that just wasn't doing well. I go into my Google Analytics or whatever you use. You see that very few people are clicking through to the article. Or if you go into Google Search Console, you see impressions are dropping for this particular article. That could be a sign that you need to do some updating to this post. What you do with Neuron Writer is you can re optimize existing content. So here's what I mean. Let's just go ahead, open this post, and I just want to copy this URL, and you'll see why I did that in just a second. So now we'll go into Neuron Writer. Now, if you don't have Neuron Writer, everything starts with a new query. Even when you re-optimize old content, you're doing a new query. And here's what I mean. Click on New Query. Typically, you'd use this particular tab, the New Content tab. But in this case, we're going to optimize existing content. And we're going to paste in the URL for the article that I want to optimize. And another use case for this would be, let's say you have an AI writing tool, and that AI writing tool has some built-in SEO capability where it picks out some of the NLP keywords to use within an article. And it was something that was written before you had a tool like Neuron Writer. Those are perfect candidates for re-optimization and using this particular optimized content feature. So again, what is blog maintenance? Well, that is the query. What is blog maintenance? So I've got my URL for my original article. This is the query that I was writing against. That's what I wanted to rank for was the term what is blog maintenance. And now I'm going to click start. So you'll see right away, here's the target URL showing. And then, of course, you have on the right-hand side a status bar letting you know uh, when you get to 100% that you can continue and begin the optimization. So you can see we're at 95%. We're almost complete. It's completed. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on this title of the content query. And this is where search intent matters, right? So what I want to do is you'll notice the first 10 items are clicked, right? Well, I want to make sure that all of the articles that I want to try and use and rank against are ones that are matching my search intent. So obviously this one, blog maintenance, that's fine. S simple steps for blog maintenance. Website maintenance, that's fine. Eight blog maintenance tasks to do. So far they all look good. None of them are user generated content. So sometimes if you see like Quora or Reddit in here, you might not wanna use those. That's user generated content. I try to optimize my articles against other blog posts, not user-generated content. This one might not work. How to run a low-maintenance blog. That really doesn't match search intent, so I'm going to uncheck that. This one, what is website maintenance and why is it important? I think I'm just going to go with these top nine. I'm going to click Next. So you have a choice here. You can auto import the content or paste your own content. So, you know, let's say you're in WordPress, you're in the editor, you could grab your content for the blog post out of an editor if you wanted to. In this case, I'm gonna just do auto import and see how it turns out. Hopefully I don't have to do too much cleanup. Looks good to me. I don't really see much that I need to, to do here. So the very first thing that I'm gonna do is I know for a fact that the article that I created 
I used seowriting.ai and I asked it to just use its own NLP keywords. I did not optimize the article using Neuron Writer because I wanted to show you how to do that in this tutorial. But notice that we're at a 63, which is great because the highest of all competitors is a 63. So right away, we have a really good score. And I like that. So we can go through and the very first thing that I would probably do is I would look and see what basic terms weren't used in the article and is there a way that I can add them within this article? So for instance, if you added the term broken link somewhere in this article in an area that made sense, that score is gonna jump up to 64. So just as an example, I'm gonna add the sentence. I would not add it in the final publishing of the blog post, but I just wanna show you how your score will change. Notice as soon as I added broken link, the score jumped to 65, right? So adding anything that you see here that's a basic term that's missing, you can do that. There's extended terms that could be either manually entered or you could update this through a variety of different ways. So once I took care of the basic terms, what I typically will do is then I'll look at headings. So I go right to my H2s and my H3s. And notice that there's a lot of H2 and H3 terms that are not used here. So I would go through and see, are there places where I could go in and use any of these unused H2, H3 terms and add them into my content? that's going to boost my score as well. So that's what you would do is you would just go through, try to see if any of these H2s and H3s could be slightly adjusted to use any of these terms that will help boost your score. That's a manual way of doing it. Another way that you can boost your score is use some of the automatic capabilities that the tool offers. So the very first thing that I would suggest doing is this particular post does not have an FAQ. So I would add an FAQ. Now I do want to tell you that this capability to add an FAQ automatically and to go in and find terms and boost the SEO optimization score of your post is not something that you're going to find in uh, I think the two lower plans, the bronze plan and the silver plan don't have that capability. So you'd have to be in at one of the higher tier plans. So you just want to make sure that if you don't have Neuron Writer and you go to the description for this video and click on the link, you want to look for the statement that says you're purchasing advanced AI templates because this is an advanced AI template that I'm about to demonstrate to you. And so I wanna make sure that you just understand that there are certain plans that don't have this capability. One of the advanced templates is FAQ with unused terms. I'm gonna go ahead and put in here frequently asked questions, make it an H2, add a paragraph mark, I click on this, make a language, I'm going to use Sonnet, and I'm going to say write for me. So now you've got this frequent section. Now, I like to have H3s nested below an H2. So the only thing that I do, and I don't like the fact that Neuron Writer does this, it makes the questions H2s, and they really should be H3s because they're nested under the frequently asked questions section. So that's the only cleanup that I would do here and it's really not going to um, dramatically affect the score. So I'd rather set this up correctly. Reads better, just the way it should be done. So now if you go to the top here, you'll notice we're at a 73. So just by adding that frequently asked question section with unused terms, that boosts us to a 73, which at this point, I would probably just go in and take this article, edit the article, fact check the article, add images if I need to do that, any new images, and then publish it. I probably wouldn't try to like over optimize this article because you're already 10 points above the highest selected competitor. Now, that does not mean you're going to rank number one. There's a lot of other ranking factors that Google takes into consideration, like your backlinking profile, the age of your domain, 
the number of articles that you've posted already. There's just a lot of things that Google takes into consideration when it does rank an article. But obviously, if you're at a 73, that gives you a better chance than when you were at a 63. Now, there is another way that you could go in. You could go back to the terms section, this terms tab, go back to the top of the article. And this, this is an AI assistant, and it tries to include unused terms in your content to improve your content score. This is one additional thing that you could do. Again, you just want to make sure you're not over-optimizing articles if, uh, because that's never a good idea. You, you know, you're not trying to trick Google into ranking you higher. You're trying to provide better content for people. And that's why I always emphasize the editing piece of this and adding your own expertise, right? And adding your own point of view in this and your own experiences. That's very important to do because you have to differentiate your article from other articles that are about blog maintenance or whatever your topic is. And so this is just showing you how to go in and take old content that's not performing well and hopefully optimize it so it does perform better. But, but again, this is all predicated on the fact that you're an expert in your niche and you're adding your own expertise and experience. I can't emphasize that enough but let's just go ahead and try this auto insert capability and see if we can boost the score even higher. So I just want you to know what your options are for optimization. So notice these are suggestions to boost content score. Review the suggestions. So this one says the answer is, well, the answer is to perform website maintenance regularly. I'll accept that. Don't accept anything that looks like your keyword or just stuffing the article with words to try to rank better. It needs to make sense. So you need to look at the suggestion, read it, and make sure that it makes sense. So I'm not going to choose that. I'll accept that. I'll accept that. So I've went through, I've accepted some of the, some of the auto insert suggestions. And notice it's jumped it up from a 73. I think, I think it was a 73. Now it's a 77. So that's just a couple of ways that you could optimize this blog post. There's manual ways. So if you don't have advanced templates, there's plenty of manual ways that you can go in and optimize this content and raise the score. And then if you do have access to advanced templates, that uh, FAQ with unused terms is a real quick way to quickly boost your score. And then there's the auto insert tool that I just demonstrated. That'll do it as well. So there's a wide variety of ways that you can go in and adjust the score and take an old blog post that's not performing well and hopefully give it a little bit of a boost and then uh, republish that, let Google find it again, and hopefully you're going to start ranking a little bit better. There's no ranking guarantees in this but you're giving yourself the best shot that you can given the age of your domain, given your backlinking profile, given the amount of blog posts that you have published, that kind of thing. So that's how you would use um, a content query and optimize old content. And here are a couple of other Neuron Writer videos that I think you would be interested in. So until next time, take care.